the check block has been introduced in the pre-release of Terraform version 1.5.0 alpha. This check block allows practitioners to define assertions based on data sources values to verify the state of the infrastructure on an ongoing basis. One of the example of the check block is on your screen. So in very simple words, the purpose of these check blocks is to verify certain things, whatever you want, on your newly created infrastructure by the Terraform. So for example, if you create a virtual machine with Terraform and you want to know if that virtual machine is up and down, you can do it with the check block. If you want to check if uh, if your firewall in Azure or security group in the AWS cloud on your virtual machines or EC2 instances are configured as per your security standards, then you can do it with the check blocks. And there are a lot of things you can do with these check blocks. Now, these check blocks must contain at least one assert block with a condition expression and an error message expression aligning with current custom condition checks. The flexibility of the check blocks lies in its ability to refer to any other Terraform resource as well as newly defined data sources to perform a set of assertions. So if you look at your screen um, in the code example given, I, am, I have defined this check block. At the line number one, the, there's a keyword check and then the name of this check block. Then there are two parts of this check block. One is this where I'm calling a program and then there's an assert block. So what is happening here is that I have, uh, in the first part I have defined this external data source, which executes a Python script to do certain thing. For example, in this example, I am using this Python script to ping this IP address of this virtual machine. And then this is the Python keyword, which is calling the Python executable. This is the name of my Python script, and this is a parameter I'm passing to this Python script. And this parameter is defined here in the query part. Once that's done, in the assert block, I am testing this condition on the basis of the results I got from this Python script. And if this Python script returns up, then my condition is successful. If not, then this check block will throw this error message. So all the magic is happening in this Python script. Let me also show you this Python script, which is in the same working directory where this Terraform template is. This is a very simple Python script where I'm first I'm importing some lab modules and then I'm getting um, the argument which was passed to this Python script, which is IP address in our case. If the IP address address exists, then do this thing. Otherwise, uh, mark the status as down. And here I'm simply using um, the ping to ping that IP address which was passed as an argument and then setting the status as per the result. And afterwards, I'm printing the output which is in the form of JSON data. So that is all I'm doing. So whatever will be written uh, up or down, this will be tested in this check, plot, uh, check um, block in this asset section. So that is all there is to it. Now, if you think about it, all the magic is being done in the code block. And now you can do anything in that code block, which is uh, as per your use case. So sky is the limit here. So I hope that you appreciate this new check block in Terraform, which is really cool. And I think that once it is generally available, it will be used quite extensively. One um, tip I would give you is to not overdo it, not make it as complex as possible because just keep it to the basic checks and um, simple assertions. If you have any feedback or question regarding this check block, please put it in the comment section. Thank you very much.